Oh, here we are live. It's a game between Wigan and Swansea tonight. Wigan set up with Joel in goal. And at the back, it's I'll go for a Swansea team first now. It's up with Vaughan in goal. Tian Darley, Monk. Williams and Davies at the back, Rangel, Britton, De Guzman and in midfield and Routledge, Hernandez and Schecter at the front, front three. We're playing a 4 3 3 today, Swansea. Oh, Wigan, the convention, and also playing their own usual 4 3 3 formation where Goalkeeper Joel back in goal, still in goal. Boyce, Colwell, Sharna, and Espinosa in the back four. McCarthy, Watson, and MacArthur in the middle of the midfield. Maloney on the left. McManaman far out on the right with Aruna Kone straight down the middle. And we'll also be giving you updates from Manchester City. West Brom, which also kicks off at 7.45. In a game with far less significance than the game tonight between Wigan Athletic and Swansea City, where Wigan could move out of the relegation zone tonight with a victory over Swansea. Uh, now it's moments away after that 1-1 one, one draw yesterday between Sunderland and Stoke, 10 man Sunderland as well makes it so crucial now for Wigan to get a victory oh. probably even more crucial now level on points with both the north east sides of Newcastle and Sunderland would overtake Newcastle on goal difference Now set for kickoff in the first half of football and the referee gets it underway. Wigan started off kicking from right to left in the first half. In now white and blue while well, Swansea in an orange strip tonight. And here's Watson plays it back into defence. Caldwell. It's a clear now to Kone. Wrestled off it in the back. And a free kick given away. McCarthy with a foul high boot on Williams. Some injury problems as well for Wigan now with Figaro out. That's why Espinosa comes into the lineup. Caldwell now back in the centre defence. Really should help out to keep a clean shoot. It could be crucial here. And they don't want the roller coaster ride they had on Saturday. And they twice came from a goal down to against West Bromwich Albion in the end coming from behind 2-1 down to win it 3-2 really say a crucial point here's a ball over an onside Schechter can't quite keep it in he can keep it in look at well was out of play and the referee not intervening, happened to let it go and he did come back, obviously he didn't see it gone out and don't play advantage in them situations but in the angle it looked like it gone out and the benefits of the doubt 
Espinosa just almost losing in. That's a poor pass. And Routledge has come on to this. He's into the penalty. Yeah, Routledge goes for the near post. And Joel gets a good save. Oh, no, that's poor play already from Wigan. We had calamities at the back in the recent weeks. And almost another one punished by Wayne Routledge, who's already had two runs down his right hand side. Always going into the side netting with Joel. Had to be sure. Guzman to take the corner to the near post, and he's touched last by Rangel. And the referee agrees and gives a goal kick to Wigan. Near post corner, and by the replay, it did come off Watson last. The referee gives the goal kick. In this situation, you, know, you need all the small breaks you can possibly get in Swansea's in Wigan's position. So many people thought Swansea might be in this position this season, but not where near, nowhere near. Making this really, I wouldn't say unimportant game. You still want to win every game as a football side, but it's a little riding on Swansea's result here. Uh, safe, secure, mid-table. Not going to go much higher, not going to much go much lower, so... I'll just ride the wave for the rest of the season, see where they finish, and... See where they can build on next season to ensure they're not dragged down into that drop zone, which has dragged so many teams this season. And you look at Norwich, Aston Villa, Sunderland, Newcastle... Fulham, Stoke, who for the last few seasons not really consider themselves to be in that kind of danger area. At least with Newcastle anyway, having qualified for Europe last season. This time could be in the relegation zone by the end of these 90 minutes. And same with Sunderland as well, had their own relegation battle last season. Um, but for much of the season we're stuck down there but managed to pull themselves out of danger in the end and didn't really get too stuck but this season are in the thick of it Aston Villa much the same they were in the thick of it for much of the season in the same position here this year Norwich looks as though they were generally safe for much of last season Fulham and Stoke again mid table teams that have now been dragged Last season and seasons before that, this year been dragged into the relegation dogfight. That point for Stoke yesterday, although they'll be frustrated they couldn't get more when against 10 men. It still takes them for now 6 points clear relegation, but that could just be free by the end of these 90 minutes. So, not all over yet for Stoke. Kone tries to find Maloney. Doesn't quite reach him. But comes back to Kone. Swansea just giving that ball away. And here on this left hand side now we've cut with Maloney. Maloney cuts in onto his right foot and plays it to Emerson Boyce. Now it's McManaman. McManaman runs at his back at Davis. Looks up. Tries can't get a cross in just yet. Davis tight onto him. Still on the ball, McManaman. Goes back onto his right foot, cuts back onto his left foot, and just does too much in the end. Just could never get past Davis. He's really top defending by the Swansea left back, always refusing to give that inch of space to McManaman to get across. And in the end, the talented right winger runs the ball out of play. Scored a special goal the weekend to win it for Wigan. Scored a few special goals this season, especially in the FA Cup. He's been one of the key reasons that we're going to win the FA Cup final this year. And could he be one of the key reasons that we can stay up? Joel forward. And now McManaman just holds it up enough for Boyce to overlap him. Once Boyce to take the run, doesn't take that option and comes back to Caldwell in defence. Caldwell and Shana reacquainted 
at the back line and decent play by McManam, a really good stretch for the ball got it cleanly now it's out for Espinosa Espinosa cuts inside, good tackle there by Nti and Dalit come back now here's McArthur looking for a bit of space, Watson now Coldwell tries to slip it in to his man here is good play McManaman here just cuts it back McManaman all over the pitch at the moment one minute on the right next minute in the centre there again in the penalty area such a talented player and Wigan in control of the possession at the moment and just trying to prod the ball through the Swansea lines so far though after eight minutes Swansea holding firm another short pass is just dealt with by Watson come all the way across to Espinosa on his near side now it's Kone Kone cuts on to his right foot has a strike it's a good effort but straight at Vaughan the Dutch international always had that covered it is near post but Kone saw the space in front of him and cut inside against Monk and just had a go from a fair distance out Really good stuff so far from Wigan to keep winning that ball whack. Swansea. You see that end of season feeling in Wales right now. I'm really just looking to extend next season. Obviously, meet you out now. Which is obviously will obviously be pleasing for any Wigan fan. Mistakes are much less clearly going to be punished by Swansea today Schechter taking up that sole striker role Schechter not touched the ball yet not meaning for it anyway and that's really bad from Borman no, but Sean Maloney appealing that, should have been a pass back but Vorm just got the ball back from his defender here it is pass back and Vorm just Knocks it across and Maloney sprints there. Sprints across, almost tackles Michel Vorm, who then picks the ball up. Mm, sloppy play, that's a Wigan kind of play just recently. Mm, anybody remember the Figueroa Joel incident when? against Tottenham that allowed them to Tottenham to get the first goal of the game there early on the sloppy play between the two in their own penalty area which allowed Gareth Bale to score the goal almost a comedy error from the Swansea back too I mean it was Tien Daly and obviously Michel Vaughan ball over to Kone, can't quite get his head on it but runs after it and it comes off Kone, last going to the four, um, Lions Mill on the far side he just, he just took the last touch off Davis just wanted to get thrown anyway anyhow to throw it back out and uh, throwing now to Wigan around the halfway line Kone just pulling out of attacking positions a lot at the moment just to pick up the ball here's Shana Espinosa who's almost playing as a left midfielder right now Maloney, Maloney on his left foot tries a chip it's ended up going harmlessly wide it's good invention from Maloney but you go into the penalty area just want him to strike it there And just goes for some odd kind of chip and I mean Vaughan was far off his line execution was poor anyway as a Wigan fan you just want him to have a go there have a strike on his left foot just blast it from that angle he was in a good position to have a strike at goal just test Vaughan just test his palms get yourself warmed up and into the game as Wigan are doing very well here but McCarthy has it taken away from him by um, Leon Britton. 
such a solid defensive midfielder, Britain. Had so much praise over his last few seasons, so much praise as well this season. For taking up that role that Joe Allen left. Joe Allen not really shown shone at Liverpool like he was expected to. Or like he did at Swansea. And uh, really just hasn't fitted into the Liverpool system, hasn't put in performances that Liverpool faithful hope for. And has ultimately always been second best in most fans' opinion to the likes of Steven Gerrard and Lucas and also John Joe Shelby who constantly wears his heart on his sleeve every game even if he does bring out reckless tackles in the Liverpool attacking midfielder here's a ball over now to Oh, it's a good feed back in, and it's good work from Swansea around the right hand side. It's good play between T and Darley and Rangel. Just in the penalty, I just passed one two of each other. The cut, cut back was easily intercepted by a Wigan player, though. And Wigan down the other end, having to force Monk into a clearance. Seeing again, T and Darley pick that ball up in a lot of space. And it's a 1 2, and he was just on side. And T and Darley's cut back just behind his teammate Schechter in the penalty area. Wigan again winning the ball back. McCarthy. Espinosa now on this left side, puts a cross in, it's over, Conate can be dealt with by Davis you know, overhead kick volley upfield now it's with Leon Britton Leon Britton has it taken away from him though and now it's Emerson Boyce Sean Maloney back to McCarthy Espinosa now controls it back to the Wigan go to the Swansea goal McCarthy again McCarthy sorry now Kone now here's McCarthy Crossing by Espinosa again, it's over the head of Kone and Michel Vorm this time the man to come out and gather the ball. Straight back to a Wigan player though. Schechter was the only man there inside the Wigan half of a Swansea contingent, but which allows for Wigan to win the ball back. Expected play from Wigan, haven't yet created a serious chance. Kone with the best effort, which was a simple save for the goalkeeper Vaughan. Here goes Caldwell on a bit of an interest run. Gets it back from Kone. Now it's outside to Espinosa. Espinosa getting a lot of this ball on his left side. Maloney just about gets it to MacArthur. Now Maloney again, Maloney's got space, great tackle by the Guzman. And now a break on for Swansea, not quite. Sean again across to knock the ball out of play. Before Schecht a good turn. And running to the space left by Espinosa's forward running. Was far playing as a left midfielder, Espinosa rather than the left back position. Yet to really see Leon Britton and De Guzman on the ball much for Swansea and be able to dictate the pace of this game as they so do so well in the first half of the season. The first half of the season really is what got Swansea in the position they are. Here they go now, Hernandez and Routledge can't quite control it and ends up going all the way through and there's a pass back. Now um, this is a real opportunity for Swansea. It was a good run from Routledge. And it was, yeah, it's a clear pass back there from Caldwell and Joel picked it up. On his own six yard line. And this is a dangerous, you never like to have these against you. 
A whole lot of players are swigging on the line. I have to watch out. I don't want to get a handball here. You don't want a penalty and a red card so early in the game. And it'll be frustrating for Martinez if his side concede here. They've had such a bright stance. Just silly mistake there from really Joan Joel. Should have just kicked it away. Almost pretty much every player on the line for Wigan. All 11 players on the line. This is just going to be somebody who's just going to have to smash this. Almost every player been told to stand on the line, but all of them pretty much going to rush out as soon as this happens. Joel, just another person on the line at the moment. He's the only one who's going to be able to use the hand. Looks like Williams, I think, is going to take it. Williams hits it and it's over. And that, after all the drama, Williams strikes it over the crossbar. Nervous, nervous moments for Wigan. You never want a team to have a strike eight yards out in normal play, let alone from an indirect free kick. But Williams just couldn't keep it down. Just needed to precise. Probably should have had, I thought, De Guzman would have took it myself. You just got to hope so that Wigan plays jump, but it's gone now and tension gone for Wigan. It did take a good two minutes of time for that to happen. And that's a good two minutes then to be added on at the end of the first half. And 19 minutes gone here, Wigan nil, Swansea nil. And you could probably say the best chance now of the game has been that indirect free kick for Swansea. Just a moment ago. Now Swansea just feeling a little confident after that. And getting a bit of ball. Here's Tin Darley. Controlled by Britain. Runs out of play though with the ball. There's actually Hernandez who got that. Coming over from the left wing. It doesn't look like the two attacking midfield players for. Swansea are playing out wide. And he's playing a bit of the, um, just behind uh, both players, just behind Schechter up front. One of his central attacking midfielders. Ball over the top aimed at McMahon. And he controls it well, goes past Davis. Davis comes back to him and holds him up. And just enough to help Britain come back. And it's Davis who knocks it out of play for a throw in. Wigan trying now to reassert themselves in this game. Trying to find a goal now. Tick, minutes tick by. More worrying it gets for Wigan fans. They might not find the goal and Kone gives it away. Poor pass by Rangel though. And he gives it away to Maloney. But another poor pass this time from Boyce. Here goes De Guzman. And he gets tackled well. It's good recovery from Emerson Boyce. After he was the man who gave the ball away. And that's nice control from Sean Maloney. He's got Sean Britton sticking with him. Every movement that he takes, Britton just staying with him. That's to in the end hold it up and pass it to McManaman. No, it's with Watson. Watson in a central area. Shot now, deflected wide for a corner kick to Wigan Athletic. It was McCarthy with a shot, just came into him, just took a second to control it, and his shot was blocked at his feet. And wide for a corner.
corner to be played in from this near side by Sean Maloney. Near post header. Headed away. Cleared away further to the edge of the penalty. Espinosa on his left foot can smash it in. Cleared. Now another chance for a shot. It's McManaman. Coldwell. Kone on the right side. Calls for handball. Kone gets it back. Chips it in and it. Rangelo heads it away. Swansea just want to play it out. In the end, have to kick it forward to Schechter. That's not bad control, and he's kept the ball nicely. Finds T and Darley on this right side. Nothing special come from the corner kick. There's a header at near post by Sharna. This was never really. Clip back into the danger area. And a slight call for handball. Nothing given. That's another bad pass. Rangel this time. He's complaining to De Guzman, saying it was his fault for bad control. Coldwell deals with that over the top ball nicely and gets it to Espinosa. Espinosa just wants a few options. Does get one from MacArthur. MacArthur nicely done. Brought down by De Guzman. Wants to take the free kick quickly. This hole waits up now for his other teammates to come up. We work for McCarthy. Ball over to McManaman on his right side. McManaman goes past Davis really nicely done, and his cross is poor. He had Coney in the centre. That's who he was trying to find. Apologies to Aruna Coney. It was a really nice bit of skill. Just put it through the legs of Davis. Sprinted onto it, but then just the adrenaline got to him. And just went high and wide over the crossbar. We're going to have to change. A bit of him in a minute.